Well, hello. Thank you for joining me. These are the announcements for the Tomorrow River Lutheran Parish for December 5th, 2021. That is the second Sunday of Advent. Thanks be to God. Um, we have a few announcements, uh, but shorter than, than previous weeks, I think. Uh, we continue to have three opportunities for in-person worship. We have the 830 service at Peace, which is masks requested. We have the 930 service outdoors at Nelsonville, which is come how Whatever you want, bring a lawn chair, wear a coat. Uh, you don't have to have a mask if you don't want. You can stay in your car if you want. There's places for seating and there's places uh, for uh, people to listen from their cars. Uh, and then we have a 1015 indoor service at Nelsonville, uh, which is also masks requested. Our bishop is asking us to uh, to mask. Uh, if you've been paying any attention at all, you know that the COVID numbers in Cor in Portage County are going straight up. Uh, that that uh, in this in this month, uh, the last month, uh, they've they've almost tripled uh, our daily numbers and so uh, our bishop is asking us to mask and even those of you who do not believe in it uh, or uh, or who think it's a political thing I am inviting you to grow in obedience and grace and care for the vulnerable in our midst those are never bad things uh, it honors our bishop and her office and uh, I appreciate it tremendously so 8 30 9 30 and 10 15 I would love to see you at worship it is an important Important, uh, witness to our neighbors and you know the Christianity is not really a consumable uh, it's something that we share it's something we do and we're gonna keep doing online offerings for people who can't come to worship but if you can come it opens an entirely new opportunity for you to participate and to share uh, and I would be grateful and encouraged to see you the prayer list, as always, is available in the top right corner of the website. Uh, we have uh, two families that are still in the initial stages of grief, and so I commend them to you. And then we have some new names that that uh, we've been uh, that I need to fill you in on. Uh, Ian J is a young uh, member at Peace, seventh grader, eighth grader, seventh or eighth grader, eighth grader. Uh, and Ian has Lyme's disease that's attacking his gastrointestinal system. I didn't even know that was possible. Uh, but but he's been really sick and and uh, now he's we found a doctor who, who can treat him and, and, a, and a drug regimen uh, that that should work it's going to be an unpleasant uh, time for him uh, but we're praying for him that that he is restored to his full health vitality uh, and bouncy wonderful self uh, Lisa D uh, you've been praying for for a while although anonymously you didn't you didn't it was one of the the listings uh, where we didn't have a name uh, but she's suffering from cancer and now uh, has reached a point where where uh, prayers for her are, are asked and encouraged. Uh, and then there's Jen who has COVID pneumonia. The rest of the names you have seen before, I, I just want to uh, plead with you uh, that you would continue to be faithful in prayers for these people. Some of them are uh, facing really, really dire circumstances. Uh, and to know that, that the people of God are, are upholding them and remembering them before the throne uh, is a precious gift indeed. In-person Sunday school is back. Uh, we have Sunday school at Peace at 9 o'clock and at Nelsonville at 9.30. And uh, kids are welcome to come. We would love to have your kids. You don't have to pre-register. You can just show up. Uh, Peace members are welcome at Nelsonville and Nelsonville members are welcome at Peace. Whatever works better for your schedule uh, would be just great. Uh, we're going to keep doing the, uh, the online uh, Sunday school uh, lessons, uh, but if you don't want to get the mailings anymore, if you'd let us know, we'd appreciate that. Conversely, if you'd like, them to, uh, you'd like us to send them or email them to someone that's precious to you, wherever they are in the world, uh, we are happy to do that as well. We just want to have a good list. Uh, so help us, uh, help us sharpen up our list to take off names that, uh, that no longer want those offerings uh, and to add names of people who do um, and then it's we're, we're going into the Christmas season of course and so opportunities to give and to serve and to love and to bless uh, are something that we need to highlight there is a blood drive coming up on Monday December 13th it is uh, that's a it's a Monday again it's in the afternoon from 1 to 6 uh, it's at peace you can go to redcrossblood.org or you can call 1-800-RED-CROSS or you can call the church 
church office or email the church office and we will get you signed up for a slot to bleed. Uh, there's a tremendous shortage of blood and blood products right now and it is a way that we can make our love real for our neighbors. So I encourage you to that. The mitten tree is up at peace. Uh, again, mitten is very broadly defined in our midst. Uh, for us, a mitten is anything that keeps a person warm. Uh, boots, snow pants, jackets, vests, gloves, mittens, hats, scarves, blankets, anything that keeps a person warm is a mitten for our purposes here. And we uh, will uh, we'll share those with our partners in the community uh, that are providing for people uh, who are in real need. And so uh, it's a, that's a holy endeavor, and I encourage you to, uh, to, to do that. The heart tree is up at Nelsonville. This is a way that we support the Salvation Army. Uh, the heart tree is covered with hearts, obviously, that have uh, things written on the back that the Salvation Army needs. Uh, so go and take a look and grab uh, two, three, nine, twenty-seven of them. Uh, bring back the stuff that's on the heart. Hang the heart back on the tree, and we will continue to, uh, to collect those things uh, right up and through uh, the Christmas season to support our neighbors uh, in need. Uh, there uh, is still uh, uh, room for us to, uh, to give gifts and to share resources with the children at the Hami Home. Uh, this is a, a place for children who don't have anywhere else to be. Uh, and so uh, if you wanted to, uh, to, to, th to to participate in that, to giving children uh, who are really having a tough time a Merry Christmas, call the church office and we'll let you know the sorts of things that we need. Wreaths Across America is happening on December 18th, uh, and uh, that's a Saturday. We have 47 vets uh, buried in our Nelsonville Cemetery, and we're going to put a wreath on every single one of those graves uh, to remember their sacrifice, to remember uh, the blessings that we share. Uh, and so I want to invite you both to that observance, and if you want to help support it, that you would, uh, that you would make a contribution to that. If you have questions, talk to any of the trustees trustees of the Nelsonville Cemetery. Uh, if you're watching this, you, you know who they are, all right? Paul, Carla, Jim, Dean, Richard, Willie, or John, uh, and uh, they'll be able to answer your questions in great detail. Uh, both endowment funds remind you that as you are making plans uh, for your giving or as you're making estate plans, uh, if you're thinking about memorials, you know, that both churches would be honored to talk to you about the work that, uh, that the endowment funds do uh, and the ministries that they fund. Uh, there's uh, information on the website for both of the endowment funds. In addition, Nelsonville is actively soliciting uh, grant requests. If there is a ministry or a mission that you think is worthy of support, the, uh, the application for funding is minimal. It will take you six to seven minutes. Uh, and then uh, we promise to pray over it and to investigate uh, with you and to see if that uh, is in keeping with, with what we feel called to do uh, and to fund uh, some of the things that, that you bring to our attention. The uh, offering envelopes for members of both churches are uh, out at both churches at Peace. They're in the narthex on the information desk. And at Nelsonville, they are right inside the front doors. So if you're attending the outdoor service, you can just duck in, grab your envelopes, and duck out. Obviously, that helps us so that we don't need to send them to you. I think that those are the critical announcements, at least as far as I'm aware. It is good to, uh, to stay connected to you. I continue to be grateful indeed for your support of the congregations and for your love for me and for my family. Your prayers are precious to us and your witness in the community is amazing. It is a deeply divided time. Neighbors have forgotten how to speak to neighbors. Families have forgotten how to love one another. And anything you do that contributes to peace and good order is honoring to God. So I want to thank you for that. I want to encourage you in that. And I look forward to seeing you in worship. May God bless and protect and keep you in faith. Amen.